Well, Girl Scouts here in America, two and a half million strong. They aim to serve as role models and do good things in our communities. The pinnacle of their program is something called the Gold Award. It is the highest honor in Girl Scouts. It is the most difficult to earn. And I know the two of us here, we don't know that much about it, but we're ready to learn. A young lady who won the award is Shelby O'Neill, joining us live this morning. She's joined by the Girl Scouts, Andrea Bastiani. Good morning, you two. Good morning, morning, Angela. Hey, nice to see you, Andrea. Let's start with you and talk a little bit about this. I didn't even, I got to be honest, I didn't know much about the Gold Award. Can you tell us about um, how important this is and what it represents? Absolutely. Thanks so much for having us today. Um, the Girl Scout Gold Award is the highest honor a Girl Scout can earn. And a girl earns it for her extraordinary leadership, but even more importantly, for her innovative and sustainable solution to a community problem. And Shelby is a tremendous example of this as an environmental activist. Our girls are taking on the world's most pressing needs every day. And um, Shelby decided she wanted to take on ocean conservation. Ooh, and that, that has been so in the news too and so many more people coming forward and learning about it. Shelby, why was that a choice for you? What did you learn and what are you doing now out of, as a result of that? Right, so I'm from California, so I always joke around with people that the love for the environment was in my blood. And uh, my overall surroundings have really inspired me to take action on behalf of Mother Nature. So for my Girl Scout Gold Award project, I created a nonprofit called Junior Ocean Guardians. And its main purpose is to educate the youth on how they can help and hurt our planet. That way they have a better sense of self and they, they understand how their actions have consequences, good or bad. And through that, when I was talking to the kids in the classroom, I realized that they have nothing challenging them. So I created a challenge called No Straw November. And that overall challenges anyone who medically doesn't need a straw to skip the straw during the month of November. And it's been really amazing because I've been able to see such tremendous change and overall everyone being uh, much more aware of what actions they do. And through that, I've been able to work on policy, you know, work with businesses directly, and just overall eliminate around 27 million single-use plastic straws, coffee stirs, and citrus picks per year. We have done so many news stories on the straw debate and, you know, helping people out learn a little <laughs> bit more about it. I want to, before we run out of time, too, I want to know a little bit about what, what are your plans for the future and how have the Girl Scouts possibly helped you with scholarships and things like that? All right, so I'm a senior in high school, so my main goal is to graduate. <laughs> um, and then Girl Scouts has helped me by giving me an amazing platform to be able to write an amazing college essay and just overall be able to also gain multiple scholarships to continue higher education. I think that's a great question because the Girl Scout Gold Award obviously benefits communities um, with our girls' projects, but in fact, it benefits the girls themselves. Um, they get scholarships, um, they have a leg up when they apply. Um, for colleges and enter the military at a higher rank. We're so proud of our girls. Well, you two, um, good luck and continued success. We wish you the best of luck, and we're going to have more information for people, too, um, if they would like to learn about the Girl Scouts and how to find a troop near you. We'll connect you. Go to fox59.com slash links, and now we both know more about the Gold Award. Yeah, exactly. I'm sitting there. I know most of the badges and stuff like that for the Boy Scouts, but had a clue about yeah, all this stuff for no. the Girl Scouts. And me neither. All right, now we All do. Right, learning. Next at 9 o'clock on Fox 59.